Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Brad over here at Chattanooga Fishing Fun. Uh, thank you for tuning in for another video. And today I have quite the surprise for you. Today marks the first time I've ever showed a Lance travel trailer on my channel. Uh, we're going to have these start rolling in here pretty soon. We've been waiting on them for quite some time since last August to be exact when I told you I had a surprise for you. Well, now, six months later, you finally know what the surprise is. So we're going to be walking around the Lance 1995 today. I'll start with the outside, kind of go over all the options on the outside. Then we'll take a look at the inside. Uh, this camper here weighs about 4,900 pounds, give or take a little bit with the options added. That is dry weight, so you can factor in more weight as you start uh, piling stuff in, uh, filling your propane tanks, your fresh water, and all that good stuff. Uh, you'll have about 470 pounds of dry weight on the tongue here. Uh, this one, you can tell I, it's cold out here. I actually got my gloves on today. It's 27 degrees. Uh, but anyways, this one has the electric tongue jack. Uh, I can't open this up. Some moisture got in there and the uh, keys actually froze or the uh, slots actually frozen. So can't show you under there today, but uh, there, there's three 20 pound tanks under there. This one actually has dual lithium batteries. There's one over here. And then right over here on the other side, in the same exact spot, you have your other lithium battery. So dual lithium batteries is an option on this camper. You don't have to get them. Uh, it's about a couple thousand more if you do get them, but it is an option. All right, so right underneath the lithium battery set up here, you see these guys, the stabilizers. You got two on this side, one in the front, one in the rear, and one on the other side, one in the front, one in the rear. This side, you turn the power on here, and then you have retract, extend for the front, retract, extend for the rear. Super easy to set up. You don't have to crawl underneath there and manually do it. All right, moving along. So this right here is a compartment for a uh, portable generator if you had one to take with you uh, if you don't have one you can also use it as added storage all right keeping it moving guess i'll just show you this real quick that is going to be your fresh water drain right there and then you'll have your uh, dump station in the back but that right there is for your fresh water tank Okay, so this model is the single slide out option. Um, the 1995, you can get this one in Java, um, not Java, uh, Roadster, Mystic Shores, or Passage Interior. This customer went with Mystic Shores, and I'll show you that here in a minute. But you have quite a bit of storage in this slide out here. Moving on to the back, this is where all your campground connections are. Oh man, that's hard to open. So you have your 30 amp plug in. This is gonna be for your city water, what you hook up to at the campground. Uh, and then you have an option to flush your black water tank here. Outdoor shower, if you get nasty or if you just like taking showers outside, feel free to do so, you have that option. And then your main dump. All right. So this is gonna be your gray tank and your black tank, gray gray tank gray handle black tank black handle and then your cold and hot water lines here all right so your uh, fresh water tank is going to be 45 gallons so you can take 45 gallons of fresh water on the go uh, your gray tank is rated for 45 gallons and also uh, your black tank is rated for 45 gallons take a quick look at the outside here Okay, moving along to the rear. This bumper here, uh, it does have, yep, right there, utility receiver. So you can like put your bike, bike rack back there, maybe one of them uh, Yakima racks. You can do that. And then some people, oh man, I can't get a grip on that with my gloves. Some people put their uh, sewer hoses in uh, this bumper here. That's your hot water heater maintenance. We'll have to take a glove off to open that. All right. 
there's where I hid the key. But anyways, this is uh, access to your water heater and I'll show you that on the uh, inside as well. There's a drain for it. Ladder to get up on the roof. Automatic awning on the side. And then as you can see here, this sticker right here says that we're four season rated. So we're rated for all four seasons. Uh, Lance uses like a heated basement type deal. Uh, as long as you have the furnace on low, you don't have to worry about anything freezing up. It acts to heat the tanks, the lines, and the floor all at the same time. Alrighty. Got some pull down steps there, like scissor, uh, scissor step style. All right, so this right here, this is gonna be like an external TV mount. Uh, you can get your TV. Uh, it comes with the mount to put on this, and you can get you actually another TV to mount out here so you can watch it outside. Uh, put the game on, whatever, motocross, whatever you're into. Then you can plug in right here. DC for the TV. Cable uh, cable plug in for it. It uh, says park right there. Uh, USB outlets. And AC power. So they got you set up, ready to rock and roll. This right here, you may be asking what that is. That is a gravity fed uh, fresh water uh, tank. You just stick your uh, water hose in there and you can store up to 45 gallons of fresh water on the go when it starts to get full it'll start overflowing out of this uh spocket here moving along all right as you can see here we got quite a bit of storage uh the belly storage here comes with a table four foot or 1.2 meters nice and then right here, you got your switch to turn on the lights on the front. There. There. And then, uh, let's see. I don't think I showed you that. Anyways, I actually didn't unlock that one. That's the same deal that's on the other side for the stabilizers here. It uh, looks the exact same. You just don't have the power button in the middle. And then you do have portable solar plug in right here if you wanted to carry another one with you you do have one on the roof this one has a 190 watt solar panel on the roof and i'm going to see if you can see it it's right above that slide out i don't think you can see it though anyways you can get 190 watt solar panel added to this as an option and you also have an option to plug in on the side here as well all right on to the inside all right, before we enter the camper, I don't think I mentioned that this camper overall length is 23 foot, eight inches. So I didn't you know, know if I left that out or not. Thought I'd mention it. But walking in, our light switches are right here by my head. You have your uh, mood lights right there above the slide out. Courtesy light right here when you walk through. Uh, awning light and patio lights. All right, so your awning, you're gonna control it right here. It has to be on to work, extend. You hit that once and it's going to extend all the way out. Don't have enough room there because of the camper beside me. But it does have auto wind sensing. If it gets too windy, it rolls itself back in. And then to retract, you just hit retract. All right, to run your slide out, you hit in and out here. Easy enough, right? And I will show you what it looks like with the slide out in. Might as well go ahead and do that, right? So with the slide out in, you can actually still get by, get to your bed area if you needed to, get to your closets. See, you can still get to your closets. The fridge, let's see. You can open it quite a bit in your freezer. All right, and the big thing, you can still get to the bathroom. 
cool. Now that I just gave you a sneak peek of the entire camper, you don't have to watch the rest of the video. Just kidding. We'll go in more detail here in just a second. You can, uh, act, you can skip this part. I don't blame me if you do. You could also play the Jeopardy theme song. That'd be pretty fitting. But you can see how much that actually adds to the entire size of the camper. All right, so here to the left, walking in, it makes it pretty convenient. You don't have to walk through the entire camper to put your clothes and stuff away. Uh, you just come over here, have quite a big closet there, closet here, some pull-out drawers from your for your undies and socks. Or you can really put whatever you want there. It doesn't have to be undies and socks. Uh, your six gallon water heater. Again, the servicing point was on the other side, the opposite side on the outside. Uh, what you'll have to do when you winterize this camper is hit this bypass here. Up is bypass, down is in line. Okay. Keep it moving. Behind door number two, we have our dry bath. Dry bath is a separated toilet from the shower. Wet bath, toilet's in the shower. But it is a pretty good sized bathroom. You have plenty of room to actually sit on the john, sit down and not bang your knees up against the door. Then you have your shower here, medicine cabinet, a light or two lights actually you have vanity light and courtesy light sink and some storage underneath your sink here and a holster for your toilet paper all right I'll be right back to have a phone call to answer okay picking up where i left off now we've got our dinette here uh this does make into a bed and i'll actually show you both that uh, the dinette and the queen size bed down uh towards the end here but your dinette bed, uh, the dimensions of it are 78 by 54. So it's uh, plenty of room for a guy like myself here to sleep on. Uh, you also have about 78 inches of interior head height in here. So I'm 6'1 and coming nowhere close to hitting the ceiling until I get to about right here. Then you have the AC right there, but still plenty of room. But yeah, you've got 78 inches of from floor to ceiling here. All right. So plenty of room for your taller guys. Uh, we'll keep it moving now. All right. Your dinette, you have two pull-out storage. Goes in there pretty deep. And then to lock them up, one in tow, just hit that button there. It ain't going nowhere. All right, so here you have some mood lights. Let's see, you gotta turn that on, then you can, yeah. There you go, you can set the mood right here with the flick of a switch. And then to turn off all power, you hit that button right there. Sunglasses coming off. Um, again, sometimes I actually forget to go over the AC. You do have one. Uh, your air conditioner and your heater, it's actually controlled right here through this one thermostat on the wall. Um, so yeah, I didn't forget to go over that this time. And another thing that y'all are good about pointing out, me forgetting, are the day and night shades here. So you got, boom, day shades, boom, night shades. Gives you total privacy, so. I did not forget this time. Let's see, there we go. Bingo. All right, so now we're moving on to the I guess you could call it like a master bedroom. Probably not a master. It's just a, you know, you got this little blind right here to shut you off and have you some privacy. It's not soundproof. But uh, this makes into a bed here. You have your couch, so you can actually use it for like a lounging station. Have your friends over. You got some friends over here. You sit right here like a king. Right here on the bed. 
or the uh, <laughs> not the bed the uh, couch but uh, I'll show you how to make that into a bed here in a second we'll keep it moving you have uh, what I call a his and hers closet over here closet here to the left and a closet here to the right a couple pull out drawers underneath one over here one over there AC outlets USB and DC countertop space again AC plug-ins uh, USB DC and light switch over here and then you have your uh, battery monitor right here to the right uh, so we got a hundred percent battery at the moment all right then you've got your TV and of course you can pull this guy out see it from the bed or you can see it from the dinette so it is on a swivel there fully adjustable and we'll get that pushed back in and then when it snaps you know it's ready to tow it's not going nowhere all right moving on we got our three-way refrigerator it is a seven cubic foot uh, fridge separated refrigerator and freezer runs on gas AC and DC So it is a pretty sizable fridge. Moving on to the kitchen area, quite a bit of countertop space. New style stove top, glass, I like that. It was stainless, I like this better. But uh, you have your three burner stove top. Oven, and a microwave. Cha-ching. All right. Turn this lights on over here. All right, so you have your water pump. So when you want to pull off your fresh water tank, you just hit this water pump here, or when you're winterizing your camper, you'll use that. Uh, water heater on gas and electric. Uh, this is where you check your levels for your battery, fresh water tank, black water, and gray water. Right above, you can see how many volts of uh, volts are going to the batteries to keep them charged up from the solar panel. Again, quite a bit of uh, countertop space. AC plug-in for your coffee pot. Or cure egg or whatever, whatever you got. So when you're using the sink, just move them to the side, find a good place for them. When you aren't using the sink and need a little extra countertop space, you have these insertable sink covers. Just like that. Underneath, you have some pull-out trays. I thought this was a neat feature. Help you stay organized here. Then over here, let's see. There we are. Got a little bit of storage. A lot of people use this for uh, cleaning, um, spices, uh, canned food. Um, I'm sure the sky's the limit with the uh, stuff that you can put in there. And then you can see everything's ducted throughout here and then there is your water pump and this is where you'll put the pipe in the pink stuff to get you some antifreeze running throughout the camper keep her from freezing and busting okay so like i said earlier i was going to show you what it looks like with both the beds down your dinette bed i'm pretty sure this is right looks right uh, first time doing that on this so yeah doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure it out obviously uh, this right here I had extras so I guess you could use that as a pillow or just take it and throw it somewhere get it out of the way but it is 54 by 78 inches so 54 inches wide 78 in length and then your uh, bed in the back here after folding that couch down see that you just lay this guy right on top of it you've got a true queen size mattress it is 60 inches uh, this way and 80 inches in length so it is a true size queen size mattress so if you're looking for covers you know what to buy for them but we'll take one more glance at the camper and then what I did I didn't explain what I did here 
took that pole out and that holds the table up and just sat that table down right on these ledges here and then just use the cut uh not the covers the cushions from here and here is filler so that's where the extra came from but yeah we'll just take one more glance at everything here and then y'all can let me know in the comments what you think of this one again this is the 1995 uh, that's not the year 2021 1995 1995 being the model uh, this one is 23 foot 8 inches in length uh, right under 5,000 pounds uh, dry and then about 470 pounds of tongue weight of course that's dry as well and this camper starts out about $39,600 without options so you start adding options the price starts going up All right, so that completes the tour of the 1995 uh, Lance Travel Trailer. Uh, we'll be getting more in, so be expecting more videos from me on future uh, future campers. Uh, got me a truck camper in too, so that'll be coming up soon as well. But I uh, hope you enjoyed the tour. Again, that was my first time doing a travel trailer, so I was a little all over the place, but I'll get better. Um, anyways, just to go over some uh, specs again, that was right under 5,000 pounds of uh, dry weight. Um, and then you got about 470 pounds of tongue weight on that. And then all your tanks are 45. Uh, fresh is 45, gray is 45, and black's 45. Uh, and then starting price point, you're looking at about 39.6. And then it goes up with options added. So that kind of gives you a general idea of what's going on here. Uh, just keep in mind, everything's an option, whether it's uh, lithium battery, solar panel, acs uh, there's three different acs to pick from so you just call me we'll get you figured out my phone number is 423-892-6272 or you can reach me at sales at epbfi.com and I, all that will be in the description below um oh and we hit 15,000 subscribers so that is awesome guys we're continuing to grow uh, if you want to be notified whenever i upload a video just hit the notification bell and don't forget to like this video Y'all take care. Have a great day.